New at 6, a mother's voice could be life-saving in a fire. As Kristen Byrne reports, a new study shows most kids sleep through that blaring beep of a smoke alarm, but not when they hear a recording of their mom's voice. Researchers found when kids heard this high-pitched sound of a smoke alarm, it took them nearly five minutes to escape from their bedroom. But when they heard their mother's voice, it took them 18 to 28 seconds to escape. The study published in the Journal of Pediatrics collected data from 176 kids ages 5 to 12. It also found a sleeping child was about three times more likely to be awakened by a mother's voice alarm when compared to a high tone one. He wouldn't know what to do. A smoke alarm where a mom can program her voice isn't on the market these days, but mother of two, Stacy Stralo, says she'd buy it. My son um, has autism and it would be throw him into a uh, anxiety panic if um, he hears the, the fire alarm. You just think more research needs to be done, is that right? Yeah, it's extremely interesting. Lieutenant Dan Tyke with North Shore Fire Department says this type of alarm has been talked about for a while. Studies were kind of out still on whether it worked. It probably was about 50-50. Uh, but definitely kids were struggling to wake up to the normal beep of, an, of a, a normal smoke alarm. But with more research, he thinks it might lead to change in how these typical alarms are made. At least for Stacy Stralo, the high tone alarm isn't the best option for her family, but for now, it's the safest. If there was a real emergency, that would be a real problem for us. Lieutenant Tyke stresses we can't get ahead of ourselves either, as he says many homes in Milwaukee County don't even have a working smoke alarm at all. In Glendale, Kristen Byrne, today's TMJ4. Kristen, thanks. And in fact, the North Shore Fire says out of the seven communities it covers, only 15% of homes they have inspected have working smoke alarms on every floor, and only 5% have one in every bedroom.